open it though. My husband and I have come to the conclusion that we will see your uncle next week. So I want you to be prepared. Ma, there is no preparation. I'm ready whenever you are. Even now. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> you are a lady. No matter what, we must not be taken on our hmm? Thank you, sir. There is something I would like to say to you, but I don't know how to say it. I don't know how best to put it. But I want you to know that I would love to spend the rest of my life with you. And you would make me the happiest man if you say yes to the question I'm about to ask you. Yes, I'll marry you. Uh, congratulations, son. I'm Thank so you. proud of you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome to my family. Thank you. I'm so happy. And I pray that God will continue to bless this union. Amen. Amen. We will live together. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. I am surprised you now qualify Ovia with such strong words. The same Ovia who got your heart melted. I don't get it. You're sounding as if you've forgotten what he did. Vivian, you were the same person who called me. Yes, I did. I just wanted you to see the classless guy that you gave your heart. He went all out with Melody and did some crazy things with her. Things I'm sure he never did with you. And who told you that? Melody herself. She didn't know where the information dropped from her mouth. I'm sure of that. So why are you saying all this? Why are you telling me this? For me to feel good or what? I just wanted to see the fool you gave your trust. Now that you know, I'm sure you will not allow him to make you go crazy. That fool does not deserve you. Trust me. Dr. Kennedy, I have heard everything you have explained. And I must have to tell you that I am very delighted with this visit of yours. I am grateful that God allowed this to happen because it can only be God. I remember vividly when that lady, Madame Beatrice, when she came here to solicit. My wife told me something and I didn't, I didn't listen. I am so disappointed right now to finally realize that a human being can actually be this heartless. I told my husband. I told him that woman Beatrice is very wicked. The very day she came into this house to trade us with lies of only uh, uh, associating with terrible city girls, joining prostitution, running out of her house, I knew it was all lies. Because I know Oledo. Our own Oledo, I know her very well. Terrible lies, actually. She actually alleged that Oledo was planning to relocate to Europe for prostitution. That's what she said on that. It was indeed a, a terrible phase in Oledo's life. That woman turned her into a slave. No. She is the one that will remain forever a slave. She thought she is punishing Oledo. Actually, she drove Oledo to her destiny. God is wonderful. Mm. Nothing is hidden before God. She was my wife's best friend, but nobody knew that she could be this heartless. 
I thank God that things are turning out this way now. You know, Dr. Kennedy, sometimes situations will occur that will make you understand that some of the people you hold in high esteem are actually not yes. what they appear to be in real life. I am indeed very delighted, but it is very glaring that we have seen it. No matter how hard human beings may try, they cannot change the destiny of somebody who God has decided to bless. That is it. That is what she tried, and uh, it didn't work out. God actually has opened another page in Oledo's life, and we can only praise him. On behalf of my family, I want to thank you for this decision you have taken to allow your son marry your lady. That is not just why I'm excited. I am excited mainly because in your honor, you have promised that you will allow her to continue with her education, to see her emerge as a lawyer in direct fulfillment of what her father wanted her to become before he died, my brother. It's only God that will bless you. You, you may leave. Concerning the, the reason you came, what you want, the pattern of this marriage, the way you want it, I am going to fix it. Okay. Yeah? I am in tears. <laughs> I want to say that I am in tears. Hmm? I am very grateful. Uh, grateful. Um, as soon as I get home, I will give you a call. Hmm? I, I will be expecting that call. Yeah. Thank you, thank you one more time. And uh, extend my warm regards to your son. Oh, I will yeah. do that. Thank you. Mm. Mom, mm. are you very anxious about Oledo? Mm. I'm sure she must be back home by now. Else that um, Ichi or Menka for Lananya would have been here looking for her. <laughs> you have a perfect understanding about these people. <laughs> no number. Hello? Yes. I'm his mother. What happened? No. No, no, no. It can't be true. How? When? I mean, where did it happen? Oh, my God. Listen, Anna. You, you know what? I'm in total shock. I'll, I'll call you back. Mom, what is it? Why are you crying? Your brother Melvin has been shot. How is that possible? Why would they shoot my brother? He teamed up with Amber Robertson. They had a shootout with the police. He got shot in the process. What? Oh my God. How could Melvin do such a thing? Why would he team up with Amber Robertson? Do you even know whether he's still alive? Even if he's still alive, he's already doomed. There's no way you would have a shootout with the police that they will not be after you for the rest of your life. Mom, can you call them back? Can we go back there and see things for ourselves? Please, get your phone and try and get the next available flight to Potaka. Oh. We need to get there to find out exactly what's going on. Let, Let me get my phone. Call, the, call this person. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> my husband, is it ever possible marrying off Oledo without from fair? Is it right? Uh, listen, listen, Agnes. There is nothing wrong with the pattern of marriage the man just suggested. I, 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 you should be able to understand why he said that and why he came himself to present what they want. 
They want a situation where all the dog will be married and Beatrice will not even get to know that something happened. And I think I understand that. What we are going to do is um, I will give give them all the requirements. And if they are able to provide them, I will brief all the people that are supposed to be briefed. After that, all lady will be declared wife to his son. And uh, the marriage stands. Nothing changes that. I am thinking you should brief the police. Why? That woman, Beatrice, should be arrested. For the wickedness she melted out on Oledo. My husband, that woman should be made to face the full rot of the law. <laughs> Vengeance happens to be the only business God reserved for himself. For those of you who read uh, the Bible, I think it's even written there when it says, Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. That is the Bible. So why should I why should I join issues with a low life like Beatrice? I, I think the best thing to do is to leave her. Someday she's going to come face to face with the God of vengeance. out for your games and I don't know why you're here and it will be appreciated if you leave immediately Susan why should I give up on the one I love why should I give up on the woman that means the whole world to me I understand you're mad at me trust me I hold it not against you I know I have wronged you Susan I'm sorry please I am not in for this drama. I just want you to leave. Susan, I am not leaving here without a word of forgiveness from you. Susan, look at you. I'm surprised to see you moving on without me. Susan, you turned your back at me and now look at me, I'm dying slowly. Point of correction, Ovie. I never turned my back against you. You made me look like a fool by sleeping with Pastor Melody. Susan, why are you not listening to me? Why are you not listening to me? I never intend for what happened. Susan, I truly love you. I can lay down my life for you. You mean the entire world to me, Susan. Pastor Melody was the one that seduced me. I'm still shocked that a woman in a class can even do such a thing to me. Just look at the way you're saying it. Like you enjoyed what you did. No remorse at all. Susan, we are discussing this right now. I'm sure this is the only thing that could heal this wound. What happened was a mistake. I beg of you, Susan. You're my dream woman. I still can't get over it. Come on, baby. What happened was a mistake. And it only happened once. I promise you it won't happen again. Come on, Susan. Here is us. Let us sort this out ourselves. I love you. to send him abroad to further his education, but he turned the offer down. Now he has brought shame and disgrace upon me and my father. Mm. 
forget why. It is painful how things went this way. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. <coughs> but God knows the best. He knows the best. I... On behalf of me and the neighbors, I must plead with you to take heart and accept our heartfelt condolences. Mm. And I want you to know that it wouldn't have happened without God permitting it to happen. But, but why would God allow such a tragedy to befall me? I mean, he's my only son. My only son! Madam, do not sound like that. At least your daughter is still here. Take heart. Please, take heart. My only brother. Oh, football is just woke. Mom, it's okay. Hey. God hey. knows best. It's okay, Mr. Fuller. Don't cry. It's okay. It's oh. okay. This is the one I like the most. Hmm? Sit. That is the one you can ask them to enlarge for a portrait. Wow. It's beautiful, right? This is beautiful. See? I made a good choice. <laughs> uh, um, you know, it won't ask you why you selected this, and I'm sure you won't have anything to say. Whatever. No big bro. At last you're married. <laughs> I am very happy. Look how you're looking fresh already. Just in how many days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how they say when you marry your wife, you just glow with pride. It's obvious. <laughs> well, I pray that when it comes to your time, you will find a man of your dream. Right? No. My career is more important than marriage. No, don't give me that look. Just hold on. Look, marriage is not for every woman. I'm serious. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it right there. Let me educate you, darling. I'm listening. Women that never got married up have this deep-rooted regret that stay with them. They appear happy in the open, but deep down, they are very sad. And I would not want my sister to tread in that part. See, I'm staring at you. Are you not the son of your father? I'm not surprised you're beginning to sound like him every new day. <laughs> come on. <laughs> well, coming from you, I'm happy. I like when people say that about me. Hey, people. About this whole thing, concerning him, Auntie Beatrice, I'm still confused about it. No one would believe that she's capable of such evil. I mean, treating that young woman like that. Well, that's human beings for you. You pretend a lot. But as you can see how God works, she chased her away and then she landed in my bosom. Beautiful. <laughs> in as much as she did everything to separate us forever. But you know, God has his own ways. See, you know what I like about all of this? Is that you found the one you love and you stayed by her. Look, despite all odds, you still insisted on the one you love. That I will never forget when that comes. Of course that will never happen to you. No one. No one will force you to marry who you don't want to marry. Right. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> All day. So, back to that picture. And so, you're going to call the person that wants to make it fair. Yes, my dear. It is done and dusted. Why are you sounding as if you were expecting something extraordinary? Come on, Olive, my friend. Don't sound as if you don't understand what I'm saying. You got married to a rich family. Why did you allow them to organize a society marriage for you? My dear Adobe, the simple wedding I did is very okay for me. I'm happily married, and that is what matters most. I'm happy for you too, my friend. I'm indeed happy. <sighs> I'm happy for myself. Not to worry. Very soon, your man will locate you. Emino, Emino. Hey, I saw Ifan three days ago. He's doing well now. Ifan had always been doing well, just family problems here and there. He came to my introduction and I linked him up with my husband. Very soon, they will be in business. I'm happy to hear that. Hey, how is your aunt? Do you hear from her? I mean, do you still see each other? 
Um, uh, sorry, my husband is here. I'll call you back, okay? Let me attend to him. My friend, Adubi. <laughs> ah. Um, if she's really your friend and you want to help her, tell her to send her resume, you know? I have one or two persons I can contact. Let's see how we can help her from there. <laughs> Thanks, baby. But remember what I said. She has just school certificate. I mean, she didn't go to the university. No, she came out with a very good result, but she couldn't further because of funds. Ah, oh, come on, that's that's nothing. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who need her kind of person, okay? So, I'll make contact. I'm sure, you know, something will come. Just tell her to send her resume, okay? You're just the best. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. So, um, how about the... I do why do you trust that Ole so much? She is my friend and I trust her so much. She is your friend. Yet she got married without telling you. Have I not explained everything to you? She was in hell and God opened a way for her. They needed to get married secretly. No matter what happened, she should have told you. That's if she sees you as her friend. You know what, Ugonne? Oledo is my friend. And no matter what you do, you will never succeed in making me hate her. And you really think she will assist to get a job? Ado, forget her and plan something else. Listen to me, please. Even before she promised to help me, she is my friend and will always be my friend. I am not interested in your seed of hate. Please. It's only an advice. Take it or leave it. Thank you. I can't believe you're this cheap. How do you mean? Why did you call me cheap? Because you're indeed cheap. The same fool that cheated on you proposed and you are this excited. Come on, Susan, give me a break. What nonsense. Why are you so pathetic? He realized his mistake, came back and apologized. And you listened. Women like you are the reason men take women for granted and trample on their dignity. The animal that already cheated on you will always cheat. You belittled yourself by accepting his engagement ring. Fortunately for me, what I am living is my own life, not yours. And I will live it how it pleases me. I am not God. Someone offended me, realized he offended me, came back and apologized. And you sit here to tell me I, I shouldn't have forgiven him. Not just for him. For all the men that take women for granted. Should never be forgiven. Never. I wish all women can develop to my level. We need to teach some men a very hard lesson. Are you serious right now? You know me. I am very serious. Very serious. Well, I am different. Any woman with your kind of heart is doomed. And I am praying that you come out of this cage before you're doomed forever. What are you doing? What does are it you working like? out on me? I am even sorry for coming. And you know what? Forget about my marriage ceremony because I won't even invite you. Useless girl. I don't blame you. I heard I remain single than get married to a he good. It's not possible. In one very short sentence, tell me why you are calling me Professor Akbam. Well, I'm happy you trust his problem to his roof. But I am the one dealing with him. And trust me, he will remain in that labor market for a long time. Hmm. Prof. 
Okay, so why are you asking me his offense? You know what he did. I told him to stop writing about me, but he refused. I have taken care of him my own way. And I don't want to discuss this again. When they come for me, I will retaliate as a lioness. Susan, should I tell you the truth? I have never trusted that girl called Vivian. She has never been a good-spirited individual. Look, you don't need a friend like her around you. I may have to disagree with you on that. Vivian may appear weaker than bread, but she's a good person. It is not charitable to qualify her as bad-spirited. I have never told you this before. But I'm beginning to feel she's the one that set me up with Pastor Melody. Excuse me? Why do you want to blame your stupid act on innocent Vivian with that immoral woman who portrays herself as a pastor? Susan, she has never liked me. And what do you have to do with her like or dislike? You're with me and not her. Listen, Vivian was with Pastor Melody on that very fateful day. I believe she set us up just to ruin our relationship. <laughs> and remember, she was the same person who told you what happened between Pastor Melody and I. Because my best friend caught my boyfriend cheating and told me she's the one behind your stupid act? How can you say that? What is wrong with you, Susan? Can't you read in between the lines? Vivian has proven to you in so many ways that she never liked you. She never wanted us to be together. Okay, can we just forget about her? And concentrate on us. I mean, just us. I like the way you say that. Wow. Us. Yeah. Just us. <laughs> okay, I planned to make your favorite stew today. So I hope you're going to wait and eat. You can say that again. You know how much I love to assist you in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm here for you, baby. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> I must say this is really nice. Hmm. How come you know how to cook everything? Thank you. <laughs> Someone is just looking for a way to indirectly insult me. Ah, don't worry. You're going to teach me how to cook, right? It will be my pleasure. <laughs> I'm honored. Well, one thing is for you to be able or to be willing to teach someone. But the most important thing is for our international model to relax in the kitchen and to learn. King, stop. What are you trying to insinuate? I, I can't stand the kitchen or what? Just allow the sweet food go down my throat. Can you two stop this? I mean, can we eat in peace? Please. Don't mind us, wifey. This is how we enjoy our meal. Oh? Every day we keep <laughs> arguing. <laughs> um, but this tastes good, actually. <laughs> I would like to eat ugwa tomorrow. I am sure you would be able to prepare that for me. King, I will start with the things I love. I never told anyone I was going to eat okwa. Thank you. Allow me to enjoy my meal, please. Why is so loud? Can you not just give me a piece in this house? Come on. <laughs> in my innocence, I went to her house to console her over what happened to her son. But she walked me out. And I continue to wonder why you are looking for her, even when she has made it clear that she is no longer interested in your friendship. My dear, leave that woman alone before she gets to know that Ole is married to her son. <laughs> you think she's not aware yet? How is she know? Of course, I trust that uh, Ichi Omeka from Naya very much. I know he's not going to tell her anything. Just. Leave the woman alone to live the kind of life she wants to live. That's all. It's okay. Uh, now, back to what is very important to our family. When are you going to take a stand on our daughter, Fortunate? What kind of stand? I mean her modeling rubbish. 
I think it's about time you called her to order. Um, well, you will give her the support she needs in whatever career path she has decided to work on. She can become anybody in life, even as a mother. You wouldn't wish it away Has no respect for nobody What you sow you shall reap Just in time, yeah Yeah I remember all the promises you made To the living and the dead Stage your prayer helps a life Mommy, good evening. What's the matter? Is it nice? Is it right? There is a big problem. What problem? Hmm. Our company is going down day by day. Our competitors are very much ahead of us. With the way things are going, we might even go bankrupt. What? Bankrupt? Um, is it that bad? The company my late husband suffered to build. We can't let that happen. We need to do something. It can't happen. We need to do something. Maybe we should go for a meeting. Someone might have an idea. What about the contract? Mom, you have to forget about the contracts. Why? Rumors are everywhere. What rumors? Considering what became of Melvin, we are not eligible for big contracts. So I will be punished because of what Melvin did? He seems to be so. We can do something. We could take a loan or, or, or do something. I mean, Mom, that is not the best option at the moment. Let's just try and revive the company first. I'm finished. Get, get me my, my, my laptop, please. We thought that you were already in school. We all believed you were doing great. And we're all praying that God should please bless us just as he has blessed you. Little did we know that we were going through hell. That is the word. I was really in hell. Why didn't you run back to Mudeupa? Your uncle Ichi Ome may not be rich. But he will surely not treat you like a slave. That option crossed my mind, but um, I remembered my mother's advice not to give up on God. And as you can see, God blessed me. I completely agree with you, my friend. God really showed up in a big way. My dear, God has really been wonderful. If not for his mercy, I wonder where I would have been. My husband and his people are very kind to me, but they are God sent. Are you still saying it? It is written all over you. You're really lucky. Eh? Sorry. Mom, oh. Auntie thought she was frustrating me. Hmm. She didn't know that God had an she, she actually went to lie to my uncle. Mm -hmm. Yes. She went to lie to him in case anything happens to me. Mm. Uh, that uh, I was following men. Mm. I, 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 that I was even planning on running to Europe for prostitution. That I, I wrote jump and failed. You know, she was saying all sorts of things against me. Imagine, a woman I begged and cried to give me money to register for jump and she refused. 
I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I wonder how that woman, that woman is my mother's sister. I'm still wondering. No. Wow. It's possible she still doesn't know you're married. Though. I don't know. But I know that no one informed her, so it's possible. I'm just praying and hoping that um, one day our path will cross. Huh. My friend, if I were you, I would not go close, I would pray never to go close to that one. She has ended. She is demonic, evil. I don't know how best to say. But it's obvious to everyone that our company is going bankrupt. I called you all for this meeting so we'll find a way to revive the company if you have suggestions. You come up with it so that we can get this company back to what it used to be. Ma, I think we need to bring back this company to its initial status first. Yes. Companies that were looking up to us and willing to do business with us and now refusing our business proposals because everybody thinks our company is sinking. That seems to be what they feel, that we are sinking. But what do you suggest we should do to prevent that from happening? Measure. I think we should merge with another company. That is not possible. How do we merge with anyone? All those companies are not in anywhere near us in class and in corporate status. Mr. Afumoni, with all the respect, that suggestion is completely ruled out. Well, if you ask me, considering the heights that this company has gotten to, I think we should go to a bank and ask them for a loan to bail us out of this trouble. What do you think? Ma? Yes? In this era of BVN, mm -hmm. all the banks are connected with each other. We have defaulted in three loans we took already. And the banks are our necks. I don't think we can find a bank that can bail us out. We cannot sit here and make that conclusion, Mrs. Honest. We need to make an effort. This company will die if we do nothing. As we all know, I am a go-getter. I do not shy away from challenges. True. But in this present case, I'm being very practical. Considering our present financial state, we cannot find any bank that can loan us. <sighs> well, that leaves us with just one option. We need to sell something. But the question is, what do we sell? I know you are very angry with me. But that should not make you forget you're my only friend. I'm sorry about the way I spoke to you the other time. I have pondered over it and I know I was wrong. Oh, please forgive me. I have forgotten about everything. Sincerely, I am no more angry with you. Okay, can we see you later today? I want to tell you about somebody. About who? <sighs> my boo. <laughs> Your bow. So you've forgotten about Kingsley. Who is Kingsley? Ah, do I even know if he exists? Please, just hurry up and come see me. Let me give you a gist. <laughs> okay, come on, my baby. <laughs> All right, baby. See you when you come. Bye. sounding it seems you've fallen for this guy already <laughs> so who is he sit down let me gist you <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait for this one. Oh, his name is daniel an international business guy he is cute hmm. i can see <laughs> you know what i'm not going to say anything until i see him he is so cute <laughs> he has this sexy presence mm -hmm. that makes you want him more and more Mm. <laughs> I can see my friend is in love. Okay, where is mom? Is she in? 
the poor woman. She's okay. Oh. You know, ever since the death of my brother, she has not been herself. She goes to the church every now and then. I understand. And I know it's not easy. Yes, it's not. Anyway, mm. how are you preparing? Well, we are not in a hurry. We will get married when God approves. It's maybe this year, next year, or in five years from now. Are you serious? Yes. Why wait that long when he has already proposed? Why? His father is the Nigerian ambassador to New Zealand and has insisted that he must be around when his son marries. Mm -hmm. So now you see, we have our time frame. <laughs> Alright dear, what can I offer you? Let me get you something. You know my favorite. Of course. Not to kill. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Vivian? Yes, ma'am? I am not comfortable with you dating someone I do not know. Mom, I thought we'd been through this. Daniel is, is so gentle and harmless. He is far better than what you thought Kinsley is. You know what? I'm not going to argue with you. I think the best thing to do is you invite him over so I get to meet him. Mom. Mm. Is this another way of saying you don't trust me? As in, I don't know a good man when I see one. That's not what I'm saying. You see, I, um, most people appear to be what they are not. Okay? Besides, you're all I have left, so we need to be very careful here. No problem, Mom. When you get to meet Daniel, you will know that I have not made a bad choice at okay. all. Enough of your Daniel. Now let's go back to business. Uh, when are we expecting our consignment? Uh, next week. I'm tracking it every day. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, because we need to supply. Yes, we have as soon as possible. Yes, sweetie. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. You know. Adobe, my friend, is still very surprised with what you did for her. I figured out she's your best friend and you would want her to progress, so I had to do what I had to do. Exactly. She's my good friend. In fact, my childhood friend. I want her to be happy. And she has never failed to give a good account of herself. Well, I'm sure she can go back to school now that she works. Moreover, the Lebanese owner of the company called me to tell me of her performance, that she's doing really well. So. Um, I'm sure very soon she will be promoted. I'm surprised they are not bothered about certificates. Oh, forget that. Real business people do not bother about certificates. They are more interested in your skill, the truth by your work. That's it. Uh, that reminds me. Mother called and she asked why we hadn't visited. And I hope you told her that it is your fault. Fault? Yes. You are always busy. And I know you wouldn't want me to go alone. You want us to go together. Of course I want us to go together. That's the right thing to do. All right. How about this weekend? Promise. Promise. Are you sure? Again this weekend. This weekend, no feeling. Yeah, this weekend. Do you know the gravity of these allegations. They are not allegations, ma. But statement of fact. I have thought this over and over again before coming here to say it. Your daughter is the problem of the company. And if we must bounce back, she must relinquish her position and allow us to run this company. What and what exactly uh, uh, did my daughter do to warrant her being you know, singled out as the problem of the company. When it comes to spending, she is very extravagant. She's equally very rude to her clients. Most of our clients that bring businesses worth millions of naira have taken their business elsewhere. And those I tried bringing back complain that unless Vivian is out of the picture, that they won't do business with us. With all due respect, ma'am, your daughter is affecting our company. 
What, what am I supposed to do? I mean, what should I do? your wife and you went to hide what were you trying to achieve well i already achieved what i wanted to achieve you were missing her weren't you <laughs> well who misses a workaholic like me oh stop <laughs> stop <laughs> you don't know how proud of you we are really you are the flag of this family uh, <laughs> i love you guys i love you mom i love you so much mom. Uh, welcome please sit <laughs> my wife <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to see you children again. It gives me great joy. And very soon, I will not only going to be dining with you two, but with my grandchildren. <laughs> I like the sound of that fowl. I hope both of you are not planning on leaving today. Mother, I'm staying for the weekend. I don't know about this gentleman here who referred to himself as a workaholic. I see you've joined them. Well, <clears throat> I am not a workaholic. I am only following the footsteps of my father. And that's just the truth. <laughs> I still remember vividly how your mother used to complain. So I'm not surprised that your wife is already <laughs> complaining. But let me settle this, my beautiful old lady. What your husband is doing is the right thing. It is for the good of the family, okay? Exactly. You see, most of these employed doctors will always do something to remind you that you're not committed to business. So one has to be there to see and ensure that things flow right. My wife can stay, but I will not. Sunday evening, I'll come pick her. Mother, when are you visiting us? Um, whenever my husband travels, I'll come and stay with you. You don't expect me to leave him in this big house all by himself. Um, so my wife should leave me and come stay with you, mother. <laughs> Son, don't let it twist up. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know what my wife is trying to say. Well, father, I'm equally joking. Of course I <laughs> You almost got us there. I know. And how was your day? Fine, Good Mom. Good afternoon. Who is this? Um, Mom? This is Daniel. Daniel, that says my mom. Um, my Daniel. Daniel. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Thank you. I've actually heard so much about you. Oh. You know, the first time she spoke about you, I, I was a bit uncomfortable, considering the fact that there are a lot of men out there who are ready to milk women. I have a different perspective of you. Thank you. Mom, yes. Guess what? What? Voila! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. oh! Oh, this is beautiful! I can't believe this. Mom, Daniel proposed to me today and I said, yes! <laughs> oh! Oh, that is cute, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. The way I see both of you, you'll make a perfect couple. You see, I love Vivian so much with my whole heart. Oh, I have that bit. That's good to hear. Mama. But a word of advice. Vivian is very stubborn. Mama! Will you stop? 
He knows me and he loves me like that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, that's good. But you know, anytime you have any issues in your marriage, please reach out to me. I'll always be there to help you solve your problems, okay? <laughs> Mommy, I am a man who tolerates a lot. I'm sure we won't have problems. Trust me. That's good to hear. <laughs> this is a man talking. <laughs> Babes, Mom. you go and get food ready. Okay, I've more. already prepared your favorite. No problem, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I'm coming. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, Daniel, what do you do for a living? Fortunate is insisting on becoming an international model. And her father seems to be supporting her. Does it mean that you don't support her? Support what? How can I support what I don't understand? I don't even know where she's headed. Do you know that at her age, she does not know how to cook? <laughs> Mother, that was before. Not anymore. How do you mean? Well, fortunate can now cook. She cooks very well now. How? Oh. I mean, she asked you to teach her how to cook, or she started learning on her own. Well, she asked me to teach her how to cook. I started teaching her, and fortunate is a fast learner. What am I saying? She's the one that prepared the bitter leaf soup in her freezer. Fortunate? Yes. <laughs> a very delicious one at that. Ah, thank you, my daughter. You're welcome. Hey. <laughs> Uh, she cooks everything and anything. She's still learning. <laughs> Thank you. So, Mom, mm. what do you think about Daniel? Well, Daniel seems a nice guy, and uh, you both make a great pair. Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, how soon is the wedding? We're going to see his parents. It's after that we'll start planning the wedding. <laughs> Where's he from? He's from Umwezu in Enugupu. Oh, Enugupu, quite close to Nemo. Yes. I have yeah. a lot of friends from there. Great town, I must say. Oh, thank God you know the place. <laughs> so I keep saying, how long are we going to wait? Hmm. Because I need to inform your relatives, because they have to be part of it, even though they like to eat where they did not so. Mm. Mm. If I have my way, I will not even allow them to participate. You can't have your way. They're your father's relatives, and they are the ones to give you out. Mm. I can't do that. Tradition doesn't permit a woman to give out the child. Whatever, mom. <laughs> so. I can't wait for that day to come. I'm so excited. I can see that. You're so happy. <laughs> yes, I'm in love with him. <laughs> <laughs> love one, Tinty. Yes. I'm in love with him. <laughs> love with him. <laughs> Going. Somehow boring, but thank God you're here now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. I have something for you. Really? What could that be? Just close your eyes. Mm. Make sure you're not puking. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are closed. I know, just keep it closed. I'm okay, coming. Okay, okay, okay. My eyes are closed. <laughs> Okay. Can I look? You can now open. Voila! <laughs> <laughs> um, I know what is in there. How? In my dream. I saw it in my dream. 
you walked in with this kind of envelope. I was sitting just like this. And you handed this to me. I opened it and you are pregnant. Wow! That's one hell of accurate dream. <sighs> you see? You see the baby that our heart beats as one. Baby, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sit here. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry yourself, okay? Um, it's not as if I'm worried, but my mom is not aware of it. And I would like us to hasten up with the wedding plans, you know? Mm. You know something? What? We will go see my family. After that, we we'll start up with the arrangement. When are we going to see your family? This weekend. <laughs> Great darling, yeah, I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to be called Mrs. Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again, you know? Yes. You are so beautiful, you know that? Thank you. Alright, and this calls for celebration, baby. Wait. Let me go fresh up, so I'll take you out. Ah! Yeah, boogie boogie tonight. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> All right, yeah, hurry up. I'm waiting. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. You mean you're pregnant with the guy you just met? <laughs> Good. Wait, wait. I, I just can't believe this. Vivian of all people, madly in love. Hey! <laughs> I still can't believe it. There must be something about this, your almighty Daniel. Hmm. Nim, Daniel has brought so much change to my life. Hmm. I am as surprised as you are. <laughs> That's good. Mm. Oh. He's the one. <clears throat> Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? <laughs> Why is your voice like this? What? You mean you're already at the village? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, just send me the direction. I'm sure I will find my way to that place. Yes, please, my love, take care of yourself, okay? Always remember that I love you so much. <laughs> Hi. What happened? He just got a call that his mom is seriously ill and uh, demanded his presence in the village. We have to rush down to the village. Immediately. So what are you going to do now? Um, please. I will need to accompany me to go see him. Are you serious? Yes, please. He demanded for my presence and I have already promised him that I will come and see him. Um, I will just have to, you know, let my mom know and we'll be on our way. Do you know his village? Um, Omo is a village in Enugoku. I asked him to send a direction. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. <sighs> Seriously, I am not comfortable with this. Yes. I just think God is still early, you know? Is this the place? Yeah, this is the um, Chief Kafos compound. Yeah, you may go in. 
Okay, um, thank you very much. Yeah, thank welcome. you. I don't know who they are, Mama. They are just coming in. Ma, my name is Vivian, and here is Susan, my friend. Is this Ishi or Kafos compound? Yes, it is. I hope there's no problem. Uh, no, Ma, not at all. There's no problem. We're here to see Daniel. Daniel? Yes, Ma. Yes, Ma. Which Daniel? Um, Daniel Shibreze Okafo. The only Daniel Chibes Okafo we have in this house died three months ago. A year after his father's death, my late husband Okafo. What? I, I spoke. I spoke with him a few minutes ago. He has been directing us throughout our journey from the capital to this place. This is strange. I think we're in the wrong place. Maybe you should try calling him again. I have been doing that since we arrived, but his number is no longer connecting. Um, we are sorry, Ma. You know, sometimes things like this usually happen. Do you have a portrait of this, Daniel? Of course. Would you? Fast. I'm going, Mama. Please, can you go to the cabinet? Let's see the portrait first. There's the Daniel, my son. You wouldn't wish it away. There's no respect for nobody. What you sow, you shall reap. Just in time, yeah. Yeah. Remember all the promises you made to the living and the dead. Said you bring the hopes alive while you're crushing them future. Is it nice, is it right to say something you don't mean to do? Pretending to be someone you're not. Uh, oh, he's nobody knows tomorrow, nobody owns tomorrow. Um, Mr. Fonomi, you sounded quite desperate when you called me. What's the problem? There is a problem, ma'am. So what is it? <sighs> the ship sank. What do you mean, the ship sank? That's the call I just got. The ship went under with everything in it. The shipping company called the agent and the agent called me. Oh. oh my God. Why is everything crushing in my hands? Oh. With due respect, ma, we have to inform the bank on what's going on. Because it is obvious we cannot pay the last loan. How is this possible? How could he have died and still lived as a human? He was buried in his room. I can take you people there if you don't mind. How did he die, Mama? He died from stray bullet in Port Harcourt during an armed robbery attack. But according to what we heard, heard 
there was um, uh, a shootout between the police and some armed robbers. And all this happened the same week he went to resume work. He was employed newly in an oil company after his youth service. Hmm. This is so painful. I'm still finding it hard to believe that I'm pregnant for a ghost. Pregnant? Yes, Mama. I am three, three weeks pregnant for him. I told him and he promised to introduce me to his family this weekend so that we can continue with our, our wedding plans. Only for him to call me this morning to say that his mother was ill and that he has traveled to the village and wanted to know if, if I can join him now that I'm here. Ah. This, this, this is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm hearing. Hey, she bears them one. Mm. Mm. The heartbeat of his mother. That man. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. With the pictures you have showed me on your phone and all what you have said, I do not doubt you. But the reason all this is happening is what I don't know. This kind of issue we are having at hand now happened 35 years ago. Then I was still very little. A woman had an only son who died mysteriously. Only for a young woman to visit the family with three kids after seven years. When the family found out that the, their son is the father of those three kids, because they were his, his glaring resemblance, his printout, then they all went back to the capital city to look for the young man, but he was nowhere to be found. And the young woman has no choice but to live with the fact that the father of her two children is lost. But one good thing is that they never lacked any good thing. They never lacked. I have heard of a story like this before, but in a different yeah. way. Hi. Things are really happening. Oh my God, why is this happening to me? It's okay. To me? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you so stubborn? That man you walked out on knows this topic more than anyone else. He doesn't know anything. Now I'm feeling so bad for even telling him. Now he's going to be amongst the people that will use this against me. Ichi Abune is a man with strong character. He said something after you left, and I feel you should reconsider this decision. If whatever he said is aimed at making me keep this pregnancy, then I am not interested. Can you please take me out of this place? You told me your family business is going down. And what has that got to do with this? It has everything to do with it. Let me repeat his exact words, and I quote, That young man has deposited in her the wand of good luck that will help revive the Hailing family business. Ogugu Eziebe, the goddess of Umuezu, that ever beautiful goddess. You bless her if she help assist the young man keep his lineage. She will become a wreck if she dares the goddess. End of quote. Go back there and tell him he is talking nonsense. I will not deliver a child from a ghost. Never. Take me out of this place now, or else I will call a cop. And I'm serious. Wait a second. Where are you going to? What is wrong with this girl? <laughs> 